on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. You want answers? Well, so does he. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. We have to find our fighting spirit. We have to realize that the animating contest of liberty is not just something that is a choice. It's something that we've got to decide to do. It is the human experience of survival to take out this globalist exterminist program of total domination. I cannot describe to you how hardcore and real this is. This is not rhetoric. And you see everything we talk about continuing to unfold. This is real. This is real. It's not just my belief. It's not just all my guest belief. It's about are you for reality? Can you admit Obamacare is a giant screw job written by ruthless money laundering banks that run worldwide child trafficking, narcotics trafficking, arms trafficking on record congressional hearings? C. Bell Edmonds, you name it, exposing it. NSA whistleblower. It's their policy to reduce world population. It's their policy we're garbage. It's their policy to poison us. It's their policy to disarm us. It's their policy to game every market, to shut down independence and make us poor as a tool of social control. We have to identify 
The globalist is the enemy. They're not capitalists. They're monopoly crime syndicates that use socialism mixed with fascism in a fraudulent program to fully bankrupt humanity while exempting themselves from all of their criminal actions. It's the ultimate form of, dis of discrimination. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I've interviewed the police officers on this show, like Don Browning and others, who saw the other cops and, 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 and doctors killed at Oklahoma City. The doctor that showed up and saw the feds in there with the bombs, they killed him. Cop of the year that showed up and carried out a bunch of people on his back, Terrence Yankee, they killed him, tortured him to death. And I've talked to the cops like Don Browning, the head of the K-9 unit in Oklahoma City, where the FBI walked into his office and said, you and your wife are going to be killed if you don't shut up. And then he was told again in the hallway, listen, we're not playing around, bud. You keep your mouth shut. And that guy, I looked him up, was a highly decorated Vietnam veteran, Marine, a highly decorated police officer. And let me tell you, he turned white and gulped on air when I said, say the names of the FBI agents. And don't you think I had a little tingle when I did that? You got to commit to this and you got to tell the truth about it or we're all dead. Down the road, pure evil's coming in. You don't play games with it. There's no way to beat it unless you stand up against it all the way. I want everybody to understand that. And I know you don't feel like heroes out there. I know good people aren't on power trips. Good people are humble. But you got to get past all that and realize you're good deep down. And you've got skills and gifts God gave you. And I don't know all the answers. I don't know what you see or what skills you've got. But I know you've got them. And it's time for you to take action against the enemy in the information war to expose them and to call them out. I've told you over and over again, we start calling Obama out as a criminal, John Boehner out as a criminal for colluding with his criminal Obamacare. You start calling out Eric Holder as a criminal. You start telling them that you're aware of what they're doing and you get past that intimidation. If you're a talk show host, or if you're a police officer, or if you're a school teacher, or if you're a judge, I don't care who you are, I talk to state judges. I've talked to federal judges. I've talked to high-level police officers who are scared and wish they could tell the truth about everything, but don't know what to do. They're waiting for somebody else to have the courage. Look, there isn't somebody else. There's not a secret room of other people out there. They're going to get this job done. We've got to do it. And it doesn't mean we're perfect. Doesn't mean we got all the answers. Doesn't mean we won't make mistakes. But you know what? In the final equation, we got a serious crisis on our hands. The bankers are crazy enough to make 40 to 1 bets with other people's money, steal their bank accounts like MF Global, and not get in trouble for it. And they do that on thousands of things we could sit here and list, where they've now reached that historical point where they're getting away with bloody murder in front of everyone. And the reason no one will call Holder out for Fast and Furious, CBS News got the documents. We already had guests on about it, but they got the documents to, to their credit. They got rid of the woman, by the way, that brought that out for CBS News. She's gone. She paid. That They said, we're going to blame the Second Amendment. That's why we're doing this. Of course, Holder got caught lying. They had press conferences a year before it broke saying we've got Operation Gun Runner where we're tracking guns into Mexico. They were hiding it in plain view in case it ever came out. But then they double-backed and lied about it and said they never knew about it. We have them. They can all be arrested right now. And I don't want to be held hostage by these people anymore. I'm not going to live in fear of a bunch of scum. I mean, look at Big Sis. Look at Janet Reno. Look at Eric Holder. Look at Obama. Look at Hillary Clinton. Look at Bill Clinton. A kleptocratic pervert, a sick thug punk, thrust on us by a sickening degenerate establishment. And look at him all shriveled. Looks like he's a reanimated corpse. Look what evil does to you. Look at this piece of trash. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to have humanity turned over to these people. So the victory of all the incredible news I've gotten, the rancher coming on, the standing up to the feds, and the rest of it is 
deciding that, hey, none of us are perfect. Nothing's ever going to be absolutely, you know, it's a process. But we got a really bad wave of corruption going on right now that is going to bring us completely down and ruin and wreck everything and ruin prosperity and start giant wars and really create some horrible situations so this elite can stay in control. Folks, it's the Captain America analogy of Hydra or of Spectre. Will you guys queue up Spectre? Um, from um, from Russia with love with the two Siamese fighting fish. And they wait till the two hurt and kill each other and then the other one comes in. In the Captain America, they explain, we are a secret group of anti-human eugenicists who want to become supermen and merge with machines and we're going to launch drones worldwide to decapitate world leadership to take over and do all of this with our AI NSA computers that can now predict the future. That's the enemy program, and now it's in movies like Captain America, Winter Soldier. Are they programming us so that when you hear me talk about it, you go, oh, that's just a movie? Or your subconscious is prepared? Or are these people concerned and this stuff's coming out? Most of the time, when I'm able to get a hold of the directors and the writers. They go, no, yeah, we're listeners. Or no, we're aware of this. No, we're, we care. We, we love our kids. And I haven't gotten in contact with them. And you're saying, why do you care about Captain America? Because that's their coming out and saying, we see what's going on. Children of men. Government staging the bombings. Governments release the chemicals to sterilize the population. Great Mexican director. I forget his name. It's the same story. V for Vendetta. The Wachowski brother and sister. All of this, these are people that know what's going on and they don't like it. And it's an example of if we can have congressmen calling out Holder and saying, you're a criminal, you should really be in jail. And saying, and Holder stamps back, you better watch it, buddy. You don't want to go there. Getting, getting him down to his basic thug level. This is the guy that ran, bare minimum, the Oklahoma City cover-up. He was in control of the operation. We know the names of the FBI counterterrorism leaders who checked in the day before at the hotels, didn't even try to cover their tracks. Lied and said their team was in Dallas. They got caught. They were there. We know, and we have the witnesses that saw them doing the telephone work with the gray sticks of butter. And then Holder quarterback to cover up. I mean, we have those emails from federal lawsuits. I mean, this is a very serious person. And... I'm not trying to do his scaring for him. I'm saying, let's recognize the criminals we're dealing with here. And let's call them out for the criminals they are. And, and they kill Alex Jones or set me up. That's the way it is. That's what it takes to get humanity to the next level. I'm not even worried about that. I'll be honest with you. But they can't kill this congressman. They can't kill, they can't kill an idea. Ideas are bulletproof, to quote V. And pretty soon when everybody just starts spouting off, it's so already already hit critical mass. You don't matter how many of us you kill, you're just going to turn us into heroes like 300, which is a true story. What you think killing me is going to save you? No, the reason you haven't killed me yet is because you know that and you know at a spiritual level. I'm willing to go all the way because that's the only choice, of course. And it's the same thing. For these congressmen and others, you can see the look in this guy's eye of being a man, of just looking at a criminal who's committed all these crimes, covered up Benghazi, covered up Solyndra, covered up Banking Heist, covered up MF Global, covered up every crime you can imagine. And, you know, these politicians up there, they're sick of getting the blame for everything and having a 6% approval rating. They've got their constituents losing everything. They don't want to be part of the evil. They want to be good. They want justice. I'm telling you. Louis Gohmert, I know him. A good guy. I know folks that know this other congressman, Blake Farenhold. They say he's a real guy, a real man, a family man. And at a certain point, you can't get us all. You understand that, scum? And, and we're going to wake up the sheeple, that there's a real world going on out there. We're going to Paul Watson in a moment with huge breaking news on this new superbug that, is, that, 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 that makes Stuxnet look like a cakewalk. And I believe is a cybersecurity false flag that I've been saying they're going to launch. But first off, here is Holder blowing up at Gomert over threat of contempt. Here it is. I promise to do is to provide you and your staff with... Uh... Sir, I've read you what your department promised, and it is inadequate. And I realize that contempt is not a big deal to our attorney general, 
but it is important that we have proper oversight. You, here, buddy. So, you don't want to go there, okay? Look at that thought. I don't want to go there? No. About the contempt? You should not assume that uh, that is not a big deal to me. I think that it was inappropriate. I think it was unjust.